Vincenzo Sasageo, dweebs. All right, so look, you clicked on this video because you have some unanswered questions from the latest and final season of AOT. And I'm here to answer those questions. Why did Ymir end up start, start helping Aaron start the rumbling and then turn around and stop the rumbling and help Mikasa? When Aaron first went into that void space uh, to the coordinate place where the fountain Titan Ymir is at, he basically pulled at her heartstrings and told her that she's not a god, she's just a human, all right? She's a human. He was like, this is the guy I've been waiting on that has the capabilities and the guts and the will to start the rumbling, that, but he just lacks the ability to start it. And on the flip side, Aaron's been looking for the coordinate, to, the power to be able to start the rumbling because he had the will and the guts. He just lacked the ability. Ymir just lacked the will. So was Ymir helping Aaron or Aaron was helping Ymir? She loved King Fritz and, you know, she couldn't stop. Not She could not be in love with him. She, for some reason love the guy who cut her tongue out and, and killed her killed whole her family. family when mikasa finally expressed her love for aaron and we had a heart to heart and after that ymir was like okay you broke my love triangle because i can never tell or express how i felt to king fritz because he had all the hoes and you know he was never alone he always had some harlot with him but you know it took you forever to express your feelings to aaron but you finally kissed his, you know, his head, and now you broke my love triangle, and now I'm gonna help you, and now I helped you defeat Aaron. I, that, I'm not lying. You can look it up. That's that's just the gist of that. So, all right. So now we're gonna talk about the sperm itself, the hallucinogenia. What the heck is that? That is basically a sperm that is the reason why Titans have the abilities. Or why there's nine titans because of that sperm, the hallucinogenia, which is which is based on a real sperm. Okay, it's not sperm; it's like some germ thing. I don't know, but it's called the hallucinogenia, and that is what attached itself to Ymir's body. It has its own, you know, conscience. That thing is what turned Aaron into that hulking, freaking chicken tender. I don't know the big titan, you know, and the boss, you know the the main boss thing. Why did Aaron start the rumbling? If Aaron seen the future and he knew what was going to happen, why did he start the rumbling and didn't just find another way? Well, the simple reason being there was no other way in his eyes because he said it himself, he's an idiot and he didn't know what else to do. Now, if you remember the scene where Aaron was locked up with Hanji, Spoilers. And he was literally, he was like, Hanji, do you know another way? And he wasn't trying to be a badass and wasn't trying to show off that he was cool. He really wanted to, the, he knew there was no other way. And he was begging someone to show him if there was another way to, to not kill the whole world damn near. He literally seen past, present, and future because of the attack titan ability to see the memories of every user who had, who had it which is kind of OP, um, but he saw everything all at once and it kind of drove him to start the rumbling because he didn't know any other way. Um, that's why that kid, he was crying to the kid because even though he saved him from, you know, the, the, the grownups after stealing, I guess, from him, he knew that he was going to die because he's seen his, he's seen everything. Um, and if, and this is a little, this is a little fact. If you go to like the first couple episodes of season one, you can see Aaron, standing by young Aaron with his hood on, standing like a boss like this with his hands in his pocket. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Foreshadowing. When and why did Aaron see everything? When did he start to change? He started to change season four, episode 20. After he grabbed Historia's hand, because she's of royal blood, he's seen the memories of Grisha, his father. And he's seen basically everything that was going to happen and the ending and all of that. He's seen all of it. 
after that, that's when you can start to see Aaron start to change, start to become more badass, start to, you know, like start killing people. And because, I mean, he's seen what was going to happen and he's seen that his, he planned his future self, planned everything up to a certain point to happen in, in that order. He literally stopped Berthold from dying from uh Diana was it Diana Diana the 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 royal titan that killed his mom he stopped that titan from killing Berthold because it wasn't his time to die yet so he sent the titan to kill his mom so he can have something to fight for to end or something to fight for to start the rumbling now this is this is the one I know a lot of y'all are mad about what the heck how did how is Falco flying what type of Plot armor is that? Well, it is plot armor. Let's be, let's be let's keep it a buck thirty. Okay, it's, it's plot armor. But when he drunk some of the Beast Titan's spinal fluid, um, I guess it activated his ancestral memories from that specific Titan being able to fly back long back 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 in the day, a long time ago. The, the users just stopped being able to do it, and the Beast Titan reawaken that ability i feel like that's plot armor but it's isayama he's he's a goat not better than oda but that's what he, that's what he wanted to do he could do it you know and nobody should complain about it you know what i mean so as long as there are two opposing sides with two different ideals there will always be war between those two opposing sides if you want to know more attack on titan questions answered i am the king of the dweebs i will answer them for you um let me know in the comments what your questions are, and I'll put them in the next video if this video gets a lot of engagement. Um, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Shinzo Sasekiyo!